What do you strongly suspect but have no proof of? That a relative is a CIA agent. She was in the Peace Corps, Vietnam era, ever since she's been a world traveler. Somehow able to drop her work and go hiking the Spanish version of the Appalachian Trail or otherwise go to exotic locales. Sometimes she came back with injuries. I fell as we were climbing some rocks. Her son is in the agency as an employee, not a spy, and he's married to a CIA translator. I believe my grandmother was a serial killer. She was married seven times, each ending in a sudden death. She died in the 1980s but everything is still suspicious and no one seems to know anything. I did find an article about her when she came to the US where her first husband died defending her after her ex-boyfriend climbed in her window in New York City. I also found evidence of her having been in prison before coming to the US. This makes me appreciate my grandma. The Kardashians usually wear solid colored clothing because it's easier for them to photoshop. Excellent observation. That there is something seriously wrong with me and people aren't telling me about it. I feel I have some sort of serious mental disability, personality disorder, or even some slight retardation and no one will acknowledge it or admit it to me. I also sometimes feel like this. One of the most outlandish thoughts I have related to this is that I perceive reality wrong and when I'm in public people are always wondering whether there's something wrong with me. My phone isn't really at 100% when it tells me it is. I work for a call center for the marketplace in the US. There was no interview, barely any training, super high turnover and super low morale. None of their decisions make sense. The entire operation almost feels like it's trying to work as poorly as possible so everyone hates it. That the ginger ale at this diner I go to every day is just coke and sprite mixed together. It is actually not unheard of for ginger ale to be swapped out for the coke sprite combo. They are just counting on you not noticing. Source, used to work in the service industry. I think my local newspaper and news stations make up fake Facebook profiles to post inflammatory statements in the comment sections of their news releases. There are frequent commenters whose profiles have a basic name, no friends random intonation friends, basic profile information and only one profile picture who will make some outlandish comment that starts a war. That might be the case, but I also know that some of my friends does the same thing. They want in on the debate, but sometimes they want to stay anonymous. Some zoos have empty exhibits and just claim the animal is in there. You just never see them. Somewhat unrelated. I was just thinking how cool a nocturnal zoo would be. Only open at night and they specialize in species that only are awake at night. That'd be sweet. Probably no business but cool nonetheless. That a lot of businesses in my hometown are just money laundering operations. 25 nail salons in a town of 70,000 3,000 square foot DVD rental shop in the best block of downtown where commercial rents are very high. Dozens of $10 barber shops sitting empty all day but remaining open. Red flags all around. That my brother stole and sold all my DS slash 3DS games for weed money. They were in a black case and one day they were gone. Case and all. I still haven't beaten Pokemon Conquest. My uncle stole my N64 for grugs when I was a kid. He told me that his friend borrowed from him but it never came back. In my city something bad is about to happen. I see a lot of mansions on sale. And houses with good location too. I think rich people know something that the rest of the people don't. Pretty paranoid. Sorry. That Bath and Body Works has like... 13 unique scents. Every couple of months they just rotate the scents in and call them something else. I read something similar to this by a Yankee Candle Outlet employee. Most of the scents are identical but the names get licensed so they need to be changed from what's in the actual chain stores. And half the time in those main stores the new seasonal scent has just been renamed from last season. That the majority of Reddit is bots. It's remarkable how many posts top comments are just old posts top comments. There was a post on somewhere that did actual research about it and proved that a large majority of the PPL on Reddit were just bots karma whoring. Toddler pageants are just dog whistles for PR file rings to operate in the background. I wish I had stayed ignorant to this idea for the rest of my life. Queen Elizabeth will probably live up to 120 years and longer. She is one of the best fed and most cared person on earth. 
If we invented something for immortality, she likely took it already. So did Betty White then. There's one company in a town local to me who board up windows. Nobody else in the area seems to do it. Every single window, door, abandoned shop, all done by this one company. They've got a ridiculous sized HQ, and have put a decent amount of money towards fixing up other buildings in the area. So I've got a theory they're the ones doing the damage or paying people to do it, and then obviously getting the job of fixing it up as they're really well known in the area. Despite having no proof of this I am 100% confident I am onto them. Someone was repeatedly breaking my BJJ gym's windows. My gym being heavily populated by cops and pies set up surveillance and caught the window repair guy doing it. That my father was in a super secret sector of the military during his service in the Vietnam War. Unfortunately, he died two years ago so I'll probably never know what he really did. That Apple invented the AirPod meme. I think most companies invent memes about their products in order to sell more. That my English teacher didn't read essays, and based grades on how we were in class. My English class had motion activated lights. It was so freaking boring in there that the lights would often go out. Our teacher would say in a monotone voice move your arms around to activate the lights. Famous actors have secret accounts so they can see if their movie or name is mentioned in a credit replies. That my grandmother had a child before she married my grandfather. When my grandparents met and started dating, my grandma was only 13. My grandpa was 20. They married when she was 17 and he was 24. Right after he came back from serving in World War II. That was about as much of the story as anyone in my family ever knew. They'd been dating. Then he went overseas, and she wrote to him while he was gone. When he got back, they got married. A few years after my grandma died, my grandfather suddenly mentioned that they'd actually been broken up for a while before she started writing to him. After they dated about a year, he went to pick her up at her house one day, only to find she wasn't home. Her parents informed him that she'd left to live with some cousins a few hours away, and she'd be gone for about a year. He got upset that she hadn't told him about this in advance and ended the relationship. When another year-ish had passed and she returned home to her parents, she started writing him overseas and apologized, and they started dating again. My grandpa told this story very blandly and seemed to believe that the situation was what had said on the tin. But of course in the 1940s 60s it was quite common for teenage girls to go live with relatives for a year as a code for having an out of wedlock pregnancy. My grandpa would never have admitted if they'd been getting physically intimate but I'm betting they were. She got pregnant and she was sent off somewhere to have the baby. I've done commercial DNA testing so I'm on the lookout for someone to turn up as a sibling match to my mom someday. The only other explanation for my grandma suddenly leaving town would be if her parents didn't approve her relationship with my grandpa. But from everything I know of them they were perfectly fine with their 13 year old daughter dating a guy in his 20s. That some Canadian guy who owns an antique shop that I bought a camera from in April recognized me. He acted flustered when I came in and I came back the next day to make my purchase. He sold me the camera for what I thought was a reasonable price and threw in an owner's manual in near perfect condition. A quick google search reveals that it's an extremely rare camera that was only produced for 2 years. 1. 1000. Still in existence or operational and 1 out of every 1000 working one still has a certain part. Mine does. This guy's whole shop was based around antique cameras and my dad talked shop with him for a while and he even explained to me how to find film or modify some for my camera. He knew what he was selling me and lost a lot of money on the transaction. I even got it appraised to confirm my suspicions about what it was. He's a time traveler and you're destined to take a very important picture with that specific camera. I believe that Apple never actually intended for anyone to buy their $999 monitor stand. It was just an excuse so they could invalidate all warranty claims for the Pro Monitor. We can't approve your claim due to the use of improper third party equipment. Nice thinking. That my oldest brother is actually my bio father. It just makes no sense to me otherwise. I have a butt chin and no one else in my family does. This older brother was, is, an alcoholic, drug addict, and just a big mess all around. He brought different women to my parents house every day and we would hear them freak. 
It makes no sense to me that he came out of that with zero children. Makes less sense since he's 20 years older than me. Which means my parents would have had me at a dangerous if for my mom. Old age. I know it's not impossible. But it just makes a lot more sense this way. Plus my parents always covered up for his wrongdoings so it honestly wouldn't surprise me. I once asked my mom and she got visibility upset. Didn't even ask her outright. I just said I had a dream that they told me my brother was really my father. She got super mad and refused to even discuss or acknowledge my dream. Weird as heck. I would still consider my mom. My mom. Wouldn't consider my brother my dad if he were because he isn't but. It's just something I think is highly probable. You are right. I have no proof. But you are right. That my ex-wife's boyfriend hurts my boys. They used to tell me it happened but I never had proof. I then saw Mark one day and they said it was cause of the boyfriend and she explained it away. All of these times it'd call CPS and nothing came of it. One time my boy told CPS that when he talks bad about the boyfriend, mom hits him, but still nothing happened. After that point they stopped telling me things, which in my opinion means that they are just afraid of being hit by mom for telling me things about the boyfriend. That my abusive stepfather went to jail, not exile, for 8 years when I was a teen and that for a few years prior we were actually running from the law, not hiding from the government because of his activism. This suddenly dawned on me about a month ago, more than a decade later. Kinda like how it suddenly clicks that the dog didn't go to a farm. I've told this story on here before, but my wife's dog did actually go to live on a farm. The farmer was a breeder, she saw the dog numerous times over the subsequent years. Her little sister, however, found out just a year or so ago and totally thought they had the dog put down. Reddit questions are a clever way I could compile data on every one of us. It's taking questions like, what would you buy if you could only buy things with the first letter of your name? Children of the 80s what? Question mark? What is it in your state country that? It's capable of building a profile on all of us. According to our AI, generated profile you like eating butt. More than half of people who buy expensive luxury cars, BMWs, Audi, ETC, can't actually afford them. Fear just trying to hold an image that they are rich. That the chick filler and Popeyes debate is all a clever marketing scheme. Dentists ask you questions with all that stuff in your mouth because they think it's funny to watch you struggle. Wife is a dental assistant. I asked her this. She says it's to distract the patient to make them feel it didn't take as long as it really did. That my 5 month old knows exactly when I'm about to fall asleep and starts crying just to frick with me. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is no louder, more upsetting noise to a baby than the sound of a parent's head hitting a pillow. I think my great great uncle was gay, but lived in a time where he had to hide that part of himself. He never had a wife or kids. He traveled a lot and was very into art. I asked my grandma a while back if she thought he was gay and she said he just wasn't interested in having girlfriends. That's a funny way for your grandma to tell you he was gay. Historians plus 200 years from now will be able to look at all of all of the private messages and data of people who have been long dead. Similar to how we can read private letters of people from 1700s. The issue is that digital records are by no means permanent. That my wife is throwing one of each pair of socks away. Just be glad she isn't using them to wipe. Prince Charles will never sit on the throne. I believe he made a deal with Queen Elizabeth that in exchange for being allowed to marry Camilla he gave up his right to sit on the throne. Prince William will sit on the throne when Queen Elizabeth dies. If Queen Elizabeth dies. Cornhole is a conspiracy by the insurance industry because they feel horseshoes is too dangerous. This is the kind of low stakes conspiracy I could get into. That only about 20% of people actually do any work. The rest just get by looking busy. I'd say 80% of people work just 20% of their work hours. I strongly suspect that most people that know me do not like me. Don't be silly, not everyone knows you. Saying ok google is Pavlov teaching humans to comply to AI and machines. The green man and red man on walk signals are Pavlovian teaching tools orchestrated by aliens to make us obey the little green men when they invade, and see them as our friends, and contrarywise that they're enemies. 
The bright red humanoids of Alpha Seti Spaghetti VI represent danger and want to stop us. That I have some crazy rare unknown disease and any time I go to the doctor they say everything's fine even though I haven't felt the same for 6 months. OJ Simpson killed somebody. Most of the posts in our shower torts were not thought in the shower. Suspect my physically and mentally abusive ex-husband was planning on offing me during our separation divorce. He got a $75,000 life insurance policy on me during our separation. Found out 2 years after our divorce when he had overpaid the policy and the insurance sent me a refund check. Mistake on their part. During our separation, he had invited me to join his family vacation at Grand Canyon. I said no. He invited me to the mountains that same summer to try to be a family again, I said no. Then he invited me to Mexico for reconciliation, again no. I said no because the gut feelings I had and my mom told me not to. She had three dreams in a row that my soon to be ex-husband would tell her I was dead. I have no proof, just the insurance policy and my mom's dreams. Two years after divorce, he cancelled policy. I didn't know you could get insurance on someone without them knowing. The referees umpires league officials have a preference for which team will win a playoff series in the four major North American sports leagues. I'm not saying the other team can't win, but the calls will go in one team's favor more times than not. The team they want to win is based on things like ratings, market size, recent team history and actual real world events. That your phone and laptop mics are hot and sending data to certain groups. That's not what you say in your sleep. You've been visited by the good policy grandpa. You will be blessed with good economics and healthcare but only if you comment sleep well burner. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.